morning, friends. Well, it's uh, about uh, 7.30, I see by the clock up there on the wall. Juan got here at 6.30. He's working on the grout for the third day. And uh, we're making great progress on the outdoor kitchen. It's taking a little longer than uh, I anticipated, but we've made some great progress. The new doors are in. Got the glass in them. Real happy with how that's going. Of course, we've got some painting to do. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Junta. 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 The hot water heater's in. The sink's all hooked up. The stove is there. Haven't hooked up the gas yet. Got the backboard all done. Going to paint the wall. Um, it's called celery. It's the same green as in the living room. Oh. Ceiling fan. Beautiful morning here on the north shore of Lake Chapala, Jalisco, Mexico. And the temperature is a perfect 70 degrees. I have more work to do today, so I think this is going to be the day that I use that uh, noodle video that I made a month and a half ago, saving it for a day when I had other things to do than edit a video. Enjoy. But first I have a couple of other projects I want to catch you up on. I wanted to show you how Nicely, the boat is flowering. And the birds of paradise has gone crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six blooms. Check out the boat. Lots of new buds. There'll be even more flowers soon. The oregano. You know, I planted some more lettuce in there and nothing. But the flowers are doing great. So, other projects. Well, the roof frame for the old uh, outdoor kitchen, we moved it out here. Four guys carried it out here. And, uh, We've poured a concrete base, just a place to put the garbage cans out here by the well. Oh, time to order gas. The other project, um, for many years, there was an avocado tree in that island there. It was, bigger than this avocado tree here. And it died. I think we overwatered it because of the island we built around it. But we cut the stump off and the stump was about as high as those uh, lights. But over the years it's rotted and it fell down. So this thing that was supported by it fell down also. Here's our new solution. We have created a base in here and we have the reinforcing metal there called a castile. And what we're gonna put in there is one of those columns like this. It's a Greek column. 
Doric column as opposed to ionic and what's the other one? Um, hmm. My 100 year old mother used to say, how soon do you need to know? Uh, Corinthian, that's the fancy one. Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. Let's go make some noodles. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. For a long time, I have made homemade egg noodles. It's really easy. It took me about three minutes to put the eggs and the flour and the pinch of salt together. Sometimes I make them thick, sometimes I make them thin. Depends on what I'm doing. Uh, today I'm going to make uh, pork and noodles in my um, Instapot. And that makes the pork loin or shoulder really tender. And put the noodles in after it's cooked. So today I'm making them kind of thin because that's what I do. When I make chicken noodle soup, I make them really thick. There we go. Still got it sliding around. Okay, good. Now, so next step noodles. And if one happens to get a little too wide, just cut it in half. All right, let just let that dry. You can pick it up and put it in boiling water right away, but I like to let it dry a little. They've been drying all afternoon. Didn't stick to the table. Look at those, wow. Uh, making uh, pork and noodles. In case you were wondering what I'm going to do with the noodles. Okay, going to cook the noodles. Hey Google. What temperature does water boil at at 5,000 feet in sea, above sea level? Approximately 202 degrees Fahrenheit. On the website pubs.nmsu.edu, they say, at 5,000 feet elevation, water boils at approximately 202 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 degrees Fahrenheit less than at sea level. The finished temperature for candies and frosting should therefore be reduced by 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey Google, what happens when you add salt to boiling water? On the website thermtest.com, they say, adding salt to water does two things. It increases the boiling point and decreases the specific heat capacity. Specific heat capacity refers to the amount of heat that is required to raise the temperature of a substance by one degree Celsius. That is why I put a little sea salt in my water when I boil it here at 5,000 feet. And here I have some pork that's been in my Instapot for about a half an hour. And I'm going to mash it up. I put some curry, look at that. That's how tender it is. I put some curry 
and some garlic powder, some ginger, a little soy sauce, a little oyster sauce. Okay, it's back in the Instapot for about 15 minutes. Uh, so what did I put in? I took a cup of the water that I boiled the noodles in because it's kind of starchy. And I mixed in um, about a tablespoon of cornstarch and a little more soy sauce, a little more oyster sauce, and some uh, caldo de res, um, bu um, beef bouillon. And I mixed that in there. And heating it again will make kind of a gravy in there, and uh, it'll be really good. There we go. Good stuff. Mm. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.